All right, so I had an interesting situation this morning. We have a Airbnb on our property. It's a two bedroom, one bathroom cottage, and it's on our property where we've got two acres here in Broken Head. It's been on Airbnb maybe for two or three years, and uh, it, it has been a wonderful benefit, but the downside is that Airbnbs take work. They take effort to maintain they take effort to make sure that the sheets are changed, that the house is cleaned, all of these things that go into maintaining and running an Airbnb. And that's just the physical side of it. Obviously, there's all of the messaging and the booking and all of that kind of stuff as well. So there's quite a bit of work that goes into this Airbnb. And this can be outsourced. This could be got rid of. But for whatever reason, right now, we are doing it. Or my wife largely is doing it. And so we had a small situation this morning. She goes down there and there is a problem. The outside of the house has not been dealt with. She didn't know about this. And so she kind of was a bit frustrated. In fact, she was a lot frustrated by this. She's like, how did this happen? Why did this happen? And she went to a place which was like, well, it's their fault. It's the cleaner's fault. And... The advantage of this is that she gets to say, hey, it's somebody else's problem. It's somebody else that is responsible for this outcome. And to a degree, yeah, sure, the outside was missed. But the higher calling is that if she was able to take responsibility for it herself and say, you know what, this should have been handled. And the person that is responsible for that ultimately is me. And if she'd been able to do that, then it opens up for a question. It's like, why did that result happen in the first place? Because I guarantee that while it was this time, it was the outside that wasn't handled, like there'll be little pieces that get missed each time. Like whether the fan got forgotten to test or whether the remote controls didn't go back to their spot or a wine glass got broken and it didn't get picked up. And the reason for this is that all of these behaviors, this cleaning behavior is managed in someone's head. It's done as an initial training experience here. This is how we do this work. And then it's kind of like, okay, well, you know how to do it. The cleaner knows how to do it. You go ahead and do it. But there's no checklist to check off and say, hey, have all these things been dealt with? And so what happens is that there's a situation that arises where the work was not done correctly. And so the outcome of all of this is variable results. Like I cannot go down there and be sure that everything's been dealt with. This is a variable outcome. Like a variable outcome, a variable result is a consistent outcome. A variable result is a consistent outcome. A variable result, like it's not done to spec every time is the consistent outcome. And what has to change in that is that the background system, like realize that there is a system of some sort being run here. It's largely in my wife's head and our cleaner's head. And they kind of go through, but there's no documentation. There's no checklist. There's no process to ensure that everything's handled. And so there is a system, it's just a virtual system or it's a system in people's heads instead of being written down. And so the transition, first of all, is to recognize that these variable results are a consistent outcome and then to take ownership and say, you know what, I don't want variable result, I want a consistent result and therefore something has to change. Something's got to change. Because if nothing changes, guess what? It's going to continue to be that variable result. So let's say then there's a responsibility piece that comes in. All right, I'm responsible for getting this system to do what? What's got to change in the system? Well, I want to suggest to you that one of the first steps could be to bring that system out of the background, out of people's heads and into some kind of documentation, some kind of checklist. And this could be extremely simple at the beginning. That even it was just like, hey, the outside's done, the inside's done. 
Like that is an extremely simple checklist. You may say, well, why would you even bother with that? Because from that, if the system gets used, it can be improved. And it's like the next time they go through, they can go through and go, okay, barbecue clean outside. What does that mean? Well, that means the barbecue is clean, the table's clean, the chairs are clean, the tables that go with the little seaty bits, they're in the right place, the dog bowl's in the right place, check, 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 check. And suddenly, because they started with this one that said outside's done, inside's done, if they're able to improve it because they used it, then that thing starts to take on an interesting characteristic which is that it improves with time. Now, this is not what typically happens with most standard operating procedures at all. Even if they get done in the first place, they decay, they entropy down and fall away. And it's like, well, that's not actually what we do because they're not getting used every time the work gets done. So that is something that I want you to consider. Consider the possibility. What happens if in your business, the systems get used every time. What would that be worth to you? What's it costing you right now to not have your systems used? Because know that you have the same situation that my wife does. There is a system being used. The fact that it's in the background or in people's heads doesn't mean that there's no system. It just means that that system is in the background. It's got to be brought out to the foreground in order for the outcome that it's generating at the moment, which is a variable results, to transition to consistent results. All right, if you want some more help around this, if you're like, you know what, Tom, I know that this is my situation, that it's costing me big time to not have this on point, then your next step is to head over to systemio.dev. That's S-Y-S-T-E-M-I-O dot dev. And pop in your name, pop in your email address to find out how you can start to address the systems issues in your business, to look at what the problems you are getting because you haven't handled this and what the possibility could be, particularly financially in terms of a profit outcome for you to get this dealt with. All right, head over there now. Thank you so much for tuning in. Look forward to seeing you on the next Facebook Live as we continue to explore this very interesting discussion for systems and processes in business. See you then.